everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some Harry Potter back to school supplies ideas. A little while ago I made this pencil case video with two Harry Potter characters and you guys seemed to really like them and you wanted more characters, so I tried to come up with something kind of creative like with Hagrid and Dobby. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I wasn't really sure I was going to post this because I wasn't like completely happy with the way they turned out. Like it didn't turn out the way I envisioned, you know what I mean? Um, but I thought I'd share it anyways. Hopefully you guys do enjoy them and if you want more characters let me know and I will try to come up with something else. I also made a feather pen. It's kind of inspired by Harry Potter because of the whole quill thing but it's an actual pen and I made these composition notebook labels but you could put it on any notebook just in general by the way I know I'm naming this pencil cases but they're bags you could put anything you want in it like makeup change money you know what I mean anything you want it's a bag it's yours it doesn't have to be for pencils and whatnot Anywho, for the Dobby pencil case, you're going to need the colors green, white, black, cream, and I chose the color sandstone for Dobby's skin tone because it was this tan, creamy color with sort of dark spots in it, and Dobby's skin is sort of blotchy and bruised, and I thought it was the perfect color, but the camera doesn't pick it up that well, but you can pick whatever color you think is best for Dobby's skin tone. And I will be using felt fabric to make this pencil case, like I did in the last video. You are also going to need a 7 inch zipper in the color of your choice. I chose a zipper color that was similar to the Dobby Skin Tone felt fabric that I picked. Then you're going to print out this template that I made for the Dobby case. Cut this part out and trace it out on the Dobby Skin Tone felt fabric twice. And then go ahead and cut those pieces out. And cut this part of the template out and trace it out one time on the cream felt fabric and cut that out too cut out the ear and trace it twice on the dobby skin tone felt fabric and cut it out get your zipper and place it right side up and you're going to take those two dobby skin tone felt fabric colors and you're going to glue it to your zipper like so I'm using a hot glue gun to do this. You can also sew it or you can use fabric glue. After you're done gluing those two pieces, you're going to take both ears and glue it onto your piece like this. <laughs> I say like this because, and I'm being so vague because I suck at explaining, so it's better to just watch. Just pause the video if you're doing this and you can see how I'm gluing things and whatnot. Go ahead and unzipper that zipper. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Unzip it and flip it over like this and you're going to glue those edges down all the way around except obviously the zipper part. So once you're done gluing and the glue has set, go ahead and flip it inside out. I'm cutting out the eye now and I'm going to trace this out on white felt fabric twice and cutting it out. I'm cutting into that eye once again and I'm going to trace this part out twice on green felt fabric and cutting it out. And I'm cutting into that eye one last time and tracing it out twice on black felt fabric and cutting it out. Now cut out that nose and trace it out on the Dobby Skin Tone felt fabric and cut it out. Assemble the facial features like so and glue it down. Like I said earlier, I'm not too thrilled with the way this turned out. It kind of looked better inside my head, but I think it's close enough and I don't know, it's still pretty cute, I think. I hope you guys like it. Now take that cream felt fabric that we cut earlier and glue it to the bottom of the bag like this. You're going to go ahead and cut out the last bit of the template, four of those leaf sort of shapes and two of the circles, and glue it onto the bag like this. You may be wondering what the heck this is, but Dobby ties his little clothing item to his shoulder, and I tried to mimic that as best as possible without actually tying it. If you actually wanted to tie it, you would need to make that cream felt fabric that I glued to the bottom of the bag a bit more wider, and this is what I meant. By the way, it's funny, I bet someone will comment how creepy my Dobby doll is because that happens every time I show him, but you know what? He's beautiful and that's all I have to say about that. 
This is optional, but you could take a brown fabric marker and make some details in his ears, maybe give him a smile and some wrinkles and stain his clothing. I didn't do this personally, but it's an option if you wanted to do that. Next up is this Hagrid suit inspired pencil case. I was inspired by this suit that he wears here. You can see the picture on the screen. I thought it would be really creative and cute. I don't know. I hope you guys think so too. For this one, you're going to need fur. I got mine at my local craft store, which is Michael's. You're also going to need yellow, tan, white, and orange felt fabric. I made a template for this one as well. Go ahead and print that out, cut it out, trace it out twice on white felt fabric, and go ahead and cut that out as well. BT dubs, I'll leave the links to all these templates down below in the description box. So basically, this is the same steps as the first bag. Go ahead and glue those pieces onto the bag like so, and I am using a 7 inch white zipper. I use white so it can blend in with the white bag itself, but you can use whatever color you want to. Once you're done gluing and the glue has set, unzip the zipper and, you know, fold it over like so and glue the edges. Again, once the glue set, fold the bag inside out. Cut out the tie portion of the template, trace it out on tanned felt fabric, and cut it out. Now you're going to take yellow felt fabric and make tiny little circles like so. Now take some orange felt fabric and make some stripes like this. I did not count how many circles I cut out or stripes that I cut out, so you're gonna have to like pause the video in a bit and count how many I ended up using and needed for the tie. And here's where you can pause the video and count how many I used. I assembled it like so and you can pause the video yet again to see how I placed it on the tie. Then I glued it all down and cut out the extra bits of orange felt fabric that was sticking out and then I glued it in the middle of the bag, towards the top, obviously. So now I'm taking my bag and placing the fur underneath it, and I'm going to measure out the height of the bag onto the fur and just, you know, make it straight across the fur. My fur was nine by 12 inches, just for reference, and I just made a straight line across there. This is going to be like a coat for the bag. I'm just gonna make that line, cut it straight across, and then glue it onto my bag. Like I said, it's gonna be like a coat for the bag. Hopefully that made sense, but you can obviously see what I'm doing in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this bag. I thought it was pretty creative. I wanted it to be sort of different and I've always enjoyed Hagrid's suits. I thought it was always pretty cool and funky and I thought it would make a really cool pencil case. And I hope you guys think so too. And the fur is so soft. I feel like it's something to do while you're bored or something. Just stroke the fur. That gives me such monster book vibes. Let me know if you want to see more character bags. I can make more characters. Just let me know what characters you'd like to see. Next up is this feather pen. This DIY is super simple. All you have to do is buy some feathers at your local craft store. I got mine at Michael's. They had a bunch of colors to choose from. I just chose black just because I like black. Trim the tip of the feather with your scissors. Then you can either go to your local office supply store and buy ink refills, or you can do what I did and take a pen that I already had and unscrewed it and took the ink from that pen. Once you have the ink from your pen, you can stick it inside the feather and make sure it fits. If it doesn't fit, you may need to trim the ink, and that's what I did. I trimmed it, and then I stuck it inside the feather and made sure it fit. Then I'm taking my hot glue gun and gluing the tip of the ink and sticking it inside the feather. And that's it. Really simple, and it gives me Harry Potter vibes because it reminds me of the quills and whatnot. By the way guys, I have other videos up on my channel that's perfect for back to school and I'll leave links to them down below in the description box in case you wanted some more ideas for back to school. 
Next, I made some labels for all of the houses, including a neutral Hogwarts one. And you can stick these labels on any notebook that you want. I chose this green glittery composition notebook and it's plain, like there's no label already on it. And I chose this color because I'm a Slytherin and I wanted to use the Slytherin label that I made. You're also going to need packing tape and double-sided tape. I mean, obviously you can buy some sticker paper and print out the labels on there, but I wanted to show a way where you don't have to buy sticker paper and you may already have packing tape and double-sided tape in your house already. These are what the labels I made look like. I made one for all of the houses and even a Hogwarts one. Before printing, you can obviously crop out the one you want to print out if you don't want to print them all out. And before printing, you can type in your name the subject that you're using the notebook for or whatever else you want to write in those three little lines there. Or you can just print them out blank and write it yourself. I will be placing packing tape over the label. So if you're going to write something in the three little lines, you may want to do that before the packing tape step. Or if you're using sticker paper, then you don't have to worry about that. Um, you can obviously use a Sharpie to write on top of the packing tape if you wanted to. Or if you're using a pen, then you should do that before using the packing tape. So I placed a piece of packing tape over the label and then I cut it out. Then I placed another piece of packing tape on my cutting mat. If you don't have a cutting mat, use parchment paper. Then I'm placing double-sided tape on top of that packing tape. I'm doing this step so that the label sticks to the packing tape, which is obvious, I know. So then place your label on top of the double-sided tape and the packing tape and then you're just going to unpeel that tape from either the parchment paper or the cutting mat and just trim the excess tape around the label. And that's it! That's an easy way to kind of give your notebook sort of Harry Potter vibes. I don't know, I really like it. It's very simple, but honestly I prefer it, this than some basic B label that comes on a notebook. And that's all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you give any of these a try, post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag PotterThings so I can see. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more DIYs and future videos, and thanks for watching! And for the people still watching this video, look what I got! I'm so excited to read the new Harry Potter script book. It is a script book. It is a play, so they came out with the script book. It's not in regular book format, just FYI. Yeah, it's the eighth Harry Potter story, and I'm so excited to read it. Don't post spoilers in the comments. Not because of me. I love spoilers, but people will get pissed if they go through the comments and read spoilers. But, ee! So the book came out on JK Rowling and Harry Potter's birthday, which is awesome. I'm trying to edit this video so this video can go up on their birthday but I don't think I'm going to make it. I didn't get to go to my midnight release party at my local bookstore which is sad because I really wanted to go. Let me know if you've already finished the book how you felt about it or if you're still reading it what are your thoughts. I'm so curious to know what everyone's feeling and thinking. I probably won't make a video telling you guys how I felt about the book after I finished reading it just because I just don't think I could tell you guys how I felt without spoiling something and I know people will just don't like spoilers period and even if I put oh spoiler alert everywhere people will probably still comment some mean stuff and I don't know I'm feeling discouraged on YouTube lately and I just don't really need the negativity but if you guys are curious to know how I felt about the book after I finished it you can always follow me on Instagram and ask me through like DMs or make a comment and I will be happy to talk with you about the book so yeah um, I will leave my you know instagram information down below in the description box if you want to chat about it uh yeah so thanks for watching the video and see you guys next time